Hey guys, Eddie here. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your graphics card. Um, this is what graphics card I have just bought. It was only about $165. Very cheap. Inside my computer, I probably have a, uh, I guess, four or $500 graphics card from about four or five years ago, three or four years ago. And from the previous video, you can see that I did a frame per second test on uh, a game. So let's see if that, if it approves in the same game after I put this in. So let's open it up. This is the back of my computer. Open up the computer. So once you uh, open the computer, I guess you just open the case from the side. And so you can pull this out like that. Okay, so that is the inside, and you can probably see this huge thing here is the graphics card. Okay, pretty huge. Let me just zoom in on that. So this is a much bigger graphics card, so it'll be interesting. Uh, if my new card performs better but it's a lot smaller so let's take that off if i can remember how to do that so you can remove the screws from the left So you can see from this angle, there is a little white pin at the bottom here, right here. Now you actually have to push that in at the same time as you pull it out. So let's do that. So push that in, pull it out, and it's out. After you pull it off, um, you can see that there are some additional cables attached to it. Okay, there's these cables that are coming from the power supply. Now, these might be used to plug into the new graphics card if they need it, but not every graphics card needs it. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull it off. There it is, it's off. Look at how big it is. Look at how big it is. So I lied, it was a Radian 6950. Okay, it's uh, made by Power Color. Power Color Radian 6950. Okay, so let's See how small my new card is in comparison. So there's my new card. Look at how small it is. Look at how small it is. A GTX 9750Ti uh, by Gigabyte. Small graphics card. Right, I guess you should take these plastic things off. Everything's so hard to take off nowadays. All right, compare to these, compare these two together. Huge one is huge one is small You can see that this little card does not require the power cables Okay, it does not require these additional cables from the motherboard Consumes less power So now let's try and put this in so I'm just gonna slot it back into the same port that it came from so pull this thing off. 
Oh, just put it back in here, I guess. Some cables might get in the way. Um, no, I guess it's fine. So, slow it back in here. All right, and just got to push it in really hard. Push it in. And you can feel a little click as you push it in, so that's good. It's all in there. Alright, so now let's screw it back on. And uh, I suggest that you try whether it works before you screw it all back together because the last thing we want is for everything to be screwed back together and then we find out the thing doesn't work okay so that's all in there and what i'm gonna do is uh i guess Put the power back on and plug it all in and see if it works before I close down the case but you guys can probably do that so that's the end of the video thanks for watching see you next time